Hi, everyone. I'm Joe D'Angelo, Senior Vice President of Radio at Xperi, and I'm very pleased to have Guru with me today from Google. Guru is Lead Automotive Manager for Android Automotive and is here to give us some insights into Google's advanced operating system and his thoughts on broadcast radio in the car of the future. Welcome, Guru. Thank you, Joe. Thank you for having me join you in this conversation. Really excited to join you on this. Great. Guru, before we get into the discussion, tell me a little bit about yourself and your role at Google. At Google. Sure. Joe, I've been with Google for a little over a decade right now, and all of this has been with the Android team. I started my career on mobile and then with AR and VR, and now in automotive. I lead the Android Automotive OS core platform team. Uh, the engineering team that I lead is responsible for everything from security, system health, media, which includes broadcast radio, ML, and so on. Wow, sounds like a fascinating role and a very exciting part of Google. You know, we all know Google's success in search, mobile, and home, and the car seems like a logical extension of that service, but it must have been a very expensive proposition. Can you speak to the motivation and the objectives of that move? Our goal is primarily to provide infotainment to the users in a safe way in cars. And we started off with this primarily to provide information to the users wherever they want to consume it. And we do this in cars from a safety point because we don't want users to pull their phones out of the pocket. And with this uh, vision and mission, we embarked on developing the Android Automotive OS. It's a full stack open source operating system and it is modular and very highly customizable. And uh, with this, we are able to provide car manufacturers, partners like Xperi and Silicon partners to deeply integrate their services and offerings on the top of the platform. It's really, really exciting to hear. And you know, we've all heard about the um, horror stories of the design cycles of getting new technology into cars. Obviously, Google, you're working in the digital space, moving very quickly. How have you found the, the kind of automotive environment in terms of bringing products and technology to market? We are learning. Uh, we've <laughs> had a few Android Automotive OS platform releases now behind us. Uh, we have, if you will, in the fourth or the fifth operating system release. And with every release, we continue to innovate on the platform expand the interfaces, make it more modular, so it kind of balances and you know help with the automotive design cycle. In addition to this, we're getting very good feedback and reception from our partners as well. One of the things that we have done, which you know has been a, a learning as well, is in working with our partners earlier on in the design cycle, securitizing the surface, because at the end of it, in addition to user experience, security is important and incorporating early feedback and then focusing on, you know, if you will, the product excellence. And, uh, you know, the vectors have been tricky, but I think we may have found a rhythm and we're learning along the way. That's great. Yeah, we've heard very good things from our automotive and tier one partners as well. Let's shift gears a little bit and dig into broadcast radio. You know, broadcast radio is still the most consumed media in the car. And over the last 20 years, it's really been going at undergoing a digital radio revolution. We're here at the World Dab General Assembly. In the room listening now are many of the pioneers and innovators in that digital radio space. In your view, where does radio fit into the in-car entertainment experience both today, but also in the future as cars get more and more connected? Right. So radio continues to be one of the most used media applications in cars, and we continue to see growth in the space. Majority of the listening is on radio. And this has been one of the key reasons why we developed the broadcast radio stack, all the way from the hardware abstractions, the API, the services for apps and services to build radio-based use cases. Whether it be a network constraint scenario in a connected car, or you have full network connectivity, radios continue to play a key role. And the data is reflecting that. Uh, coming to the second part of your question about where do you see this going, I think one of the huge opportunities that we have together is in advancing the user experience and providing personalization and rich content married with the modern infotainment systems. Yeah, that's great. I know, you know we've been working in, in one form or another with Google since 
I think as early as 2013. So it's been really good to see that relationship and the, and the technology evolve. So my final question, uh, and I want to put this in a little bit of context. Xperia's recently announced our global connected radio launch with Daimler. This is a hybrid radio system uh, that will launch in 48 countries around the world. We've also, uh, just a couple days before this conference, uh, unveiled our collaboration with the National Association of Broadcasters, as well as a dozen leading broadcasters around the world to focus on um, really enabling the industry to take advantage of Android Automotive. And a lot of our broadcast partners are, are in the room as well, providing their input and guidance as to how we steer this, this uh, technology platform. Is there anything else that you think the broadcast industry can or should be doing to really embrace these digital opportunities in the car, specifically around Android Automotive? Firstly, uh Joe, congrats to you and the rest of the team and also the Mercedes-Benz uh, teams uh, in bringing this uh, compelling experience. A couple Thank of you. thoughts on this as we've embarked on this journey. Uh, you know, as I noted earlier, one of the things that we strive for and we have provided is deep integration from the hardware level all the way to the apps and services level. So from a hardware perspective, as you advance, as the industry advances, the digital standards and the opportunities with respect to providing a richer experience, combining them with high-end audio is a unique opportunity, which you get with a, you know, a rich operating system like Android Automotive OS. In addition to this, there are numerous possibilities, for example, combining you know, localization and context to personalize the user experience. And that is something which uniquely stand out in the DAP space. So these are a couple of thoughts I have, and I think, if there is more opportunities from an industry perspective, we are happy to collaborate and work with the rest of the industry in the space. Well, thanks, Guru. And I know we're just at the beginning of a, a very rich and rewarding collaboration and partnership. And I want to thank you all at the General Assembly for the time. Thanks to Guru and enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. And likewise, thanks for having me on.